welcome, welcome to Steve for Five Fighter Six. I'm your host, Wiz. Today we're gonna play Toxin Chess, which I don't know how we made it through 505 episodes without playing this because of simple rules. It's gonna be great. It works just like this. Let me put this on the screen here. Units cannot move to empty squares which are under attack. I mean, it only takes like 10 words to describe this entire chess variant, so let's play it. I know it's going to be fun because it's on this show, and there's really only one kind of variant that we play on the show. Whoa, 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 did I just choose casual? That is not okay. Rated! Oh yes, the one kind of variant we play on this show is stupid. <laughs> we play stupid variants on this show. It's fantastic! I mean, what other kind of variant would you want to play? Would you want to play some kind of intelligent variant? No, you wouldn't. What is this thing? I don't even know. But it looks like we have a chess game, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to put that to the side and see what's happening. Messy Answer 2200. Love this guy. Haven't seen this guy in like 200 episodes. Around like you know, 200 episodes ago, Messy Answer used to be a regular on this show. You know what he did? He crushed me over and over. Then he got bored, he left, but now he's back. Good luck. Let's send him a smiley face. I cannot wait to play Toxin Chess against this guy. Okay, so units, that's pieces, pawns, kings, whatever, can move to empty squares that are under attack. So that means we want to attack a lot of squares. I like playing e6 against d4. You can kind of go into a Nimzo Indian or a Queen's Indian, but not in a Toxin Chess. Because in Toxin Chess, you want to be attacking squares like mad in order to prevent movements. In fact, I kind of should have moved my bishop here, because think about it. I, he couldn't move anything to these squares. I wish I had done that. I'm not going to request a take back, though, because I'm a man of my moves, if you know what I mean. I'm actually going to move in here. Uh, think about it. Think about it. He can't move anything to the square. He can't move anything to the square. So now I'm basically winning. It's true that I've just moved my bishop twice. Now there's a rule of thumb in chess. Take it down a notch, chess with. There's a rule of thumb in chess in the opening. Don't move the same piece twice. That's the rule of thumb, and it's very, very good advice. So if you're ever tempted to play like this, don't do it. It's stupid. It's a bad move. Uh, because you want to use your whole army. Beginners do that kind of thing. They're like, okay, I'm going to get my queen going, and I'm going to destroy you. And of course it works, because they're playing against other beginners. But regular people, like super strong chess players, by that I mean regular people, um, they use their whole army. So let's try to do that. I cannot play e6. See how restrictive that is? It's be restrictive. In fact, I don't have to bring the bishop out this way. I want to attack some squares. Seriously. So we got a comment in the chat from Reluk Super C. I'm going to put the chat over the stream just so you can see this. Look at this beautiful stream chat window I have. I can read the chat anytime. This is why the show... Uh, this is why the show... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is why the show is getting... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. I think I can't move anything to these attack squares, and so I am checkmated. So I have a great idea. Do that to him. So let's see. E4, D5, Bishop E5, checkmate. Let's bring some toxin chest to the table. So this is why the show is actually interesting for me. Now, for you guys, you're like... Uh, when do we have the interesting part? But for me, I can just read the chat, and that is super interesting, so I don't even have to make an interesting show to enjoy my experience. So Raluk Super C, I've put this on here because you can see that his name is actually crepuscular. Like, on lichess.org, he's crepuscular. I don't know why he spells it backwards here, but it took me about 70, 80 episodes to notice <laughs> that he's actually just crepuscular, uh, which is embarrassing, so I'll stop talking about that. Anyway, he says, Messy Answer made some detailed studies analyzing chess with TV variants. I love that. This guy's a big fan of mine, I am assuming. Let's see what else is happening. Oh, the board view is so chopped up. Sorry, guys, you can't see part of the board. Maybe I should fix that. Oh, that's really frustrating for you guys. But I can see the whole board, so I'm not frustrated at all. In fact, I feel completely calm. <sighs> oh, I feel really good right now. And now I'm both invisible and better. There we go. All right, so we are playing chess, apparently. I love this bishop g5 strat because he can't kick it away. He just simply can't. Now, what I want to do is uh, take the knight and play my knight here, which attacks a lot of things, and then play c3. Uh, that's that's kind of what I want to do. c3 kicking his knight out. Uh, I also kind of want to play f3 or h3 just to prevent the same awful sequence happening to me. But let's see how this goes. There, so there's a piece on there, so I can move there, because the rules are, for those of you just wandering in, units cannot move to empty 
squares, which are under attack. This is a fantastic chess variant. We've always already seen one crazy checkmate. So let's see how it goes. Hmm. Is it just me, or does this water taste exceptionally good right now? Hmm. Or maybe it's the uppers. I think it's the water. How do I move my next thing forward? Hmm. What I really want to do oh, is wreck his face. Look at this. Checkmate. Colon D. This is a euphemism for what I'm doing to him right now. Oh, no. Never mind. It's a smiley face. This is fantastic. Okay. Getting into game three here. We've each won one. <laughs> that was checkmate, by the way, because he can't move anything. into. Could I have done that like three moves ago? Think about Bishop. No, his knight was guarding it. His knight, I don't know where anything was on the chessboard, but his knight was guarding that square. I kicked his knight out of the way, and then I kicked him to the curb. All right, he says, it's already becoming old, so I'll say, so are you. No, so are we. That's a little more polite. So are we. I love to joke about old age and dying because it's so funny. It is so funny getting old and dying. Um... <laughs> Right? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell what's funny. That's why I actually stream. Oh, that's why you love this show. Oh, you don't love the show? Never mind then. Okay. Well, there's someone in the chat named Stefan. Hey, Stefan. Thanks for joining. I'm happy to see you. You know, it's been about 200 episodes since I've seen you on the live stream either, but every now and then you comment on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash TV. By the way, you can support the show, patreon.com slash chesswiz. You can follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash something. And in Twitter, I have like two followers because I never talk about Twitter. So I tweet things like, I just solved a Rubik's Cube at negative one seconds. And of course, nobody reads that, but you can't even do that move. That's the answer. Illegal. He's trying to be like me. LOL. Lots of love to you. That's what LOL stands for. Because you can't move to an empty square that's under attack. He's trying to get me to not play Queen of Six, but it's just such a good move. I'm going to play it. So I'm glad. Glad to see you here in the chat. Stefan, anyone else watching for the first time right now? Actually, I shouldn't say anyone else because he's watched tons of times. And look at this water bottle. Have you ever studied a water bottle? When you get really, really bored, sometimes you study a water bottle or eat a bunch of ice cream. Usually that's what I do, but you know, I, I switch it up. Sometimes it's water bottles. Mm. So this would have been so strong. Oh, these bishops. Bishops are amazing. How do you capture queens though? That's what I want to know. I have to sneak up on it. <laughs> I have to sneak up on it because... Oh man, let's let's prevent certain destruction. Like I'm preventing you this bishop move now with this. So that's actually look at that. Look at that. His knight cannot move to these squares. I would just take it. So I don't know what he was planning with this knight a4, but I am destroying him now. Okay, so d5. Does this work? It works if you want to lose your stuff. Uh, but I can play this. Now, the bishop actually can't move there, can't move there, and can't move there. Oh, and by the way, can't move there. So we're getting kind of trapped in here. The knight also can't move here. And if it goes here, it can't go here or here or here or here. Or so I can only go here. <laughs> so actually, we're getting really stuck. Uh, we're also becoming old. This is interesting. Because my... <laughs> wow, this is really interesting. I actually can't play d5. I forgot about that. We're going to get so trapped. I can castle. We're going to get really, really trapped. Where we just can't move. <laughs> Oh, you know what I love about Chesswiz TV? I love the fact that Chesswiz never tests his variants ahead of time. So he's like, he sits down like, okay, let's see what the rules are. Bishops become queens when they move diagonally. Oh, that's very interesting. Never tried it before. Let's try it out. <laughs> and then you're like, this is so stupid. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole show. So what can we do to win? Like the queen basically cannot move. If I were to circle all the squares, the queen cannot move to. It's all of the squares. So the queen can't move. Disappointing. In fact, nothing can move. Well, <laughs> good game, I guess. Let's, uh... Uh... uh <laughs> he's chopping my... Oh, oh, man. He's trapped my queen. Um, uh, apparently, he's trapped my queen. How did he do that? We will never know. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, wait. Wait. 
I, I don't know if the variant is stupid or it's just me. One of us is definitely stupid. <laughs> How did he take that? Stop. Stop. Just let me live. I just want to breathe. I can't breathe. Oh. Yeah, I don't have much left here. Down a queen's pretty bad. My, my idea now is to capture his queen with my knight. Doesn't look very dual. But when did that stop me? When has that ever stopped me? Things being doable. Doable. That's not a thing, being doable. Uh, <laughs> wow. I'm definitely enjoying how I've trapped his knight, maybe? No? Definitely enjoying how impossible this position is. It's impossible to play this. Hmm, he's coming over to here to checkmate me. Interesting. What about if the square is pay, pay, protected by a pinned piece? Great question. Great question. What do you think should happen? Hmm. And now you can see that spelling is entirely optional. What do you think should happen? It should totally be legal. I agree. I agree. I agree. I don't think it's a good idea to take that bishop, so I guess I'll do it. The restriction starts to get really bad when it comes to kings. <laughs> I was just thinking, this game's totally a draw. You just can't move. But then actually, kings can't move either, so you check them. Or in this case, you checkmate them, and it's over. So he just won. He, I'm thinking he was a little bit biased on that. He said, I think that should be legal, when actually he was going to checkmate me with that move. So if I was acting in my own best interest, which usually happens, I would have said, can't do that. You can't do that. All right, I think this is going to be my last game with Messi Answer because I got to beat him and then notice it's 2-2. Two to two. And also I need to stop wrecking his rating. Sorry about your rating. <laughs> so if you want to play this chess variant, it is Toxin Chess. Units cannot move to empty squares when they're under attack. I'm going to throw a challenge in the live chat. We're live streaming right now. And that's going to be one way, just one of the many ways that you can try this. <laughs> Maybe change it to units can never move to an empty square if they can legally be captured next move. Oh... That's brainy. <laughs> I gotta type what I say, otherwise I forget that I've typed it. He could play here. It's interesting. Or he could develop his pieces. That's also interesting. I now cannot play this. It's like a mad rush to develop your pieces. Let's, let's play h3 quick before his bishop comes in here. Oh, except I can't. Hmm. Wow, this guy is on top of it. Uh, so I could play f3. But if I play knight f3 and he plays his bishop down here, I'm pretty squoosed. So let's... I know this looks stupid, but that's only because it is. Okay. Seriously, I have a plan, and it involves moving this pawn one square and then thinking about my next move because I really didn't have a plan. So let's go see what we can do with this. Here comes a pawn. That's a pretty good strat, I think. The pawn is now froze. Froze in place. <laughs> Oh, I'm so amused by myself. Hmm. I need to attack more squares. The more squares I can attack? I didn't attack that square quickly enough. We could trade, I guess. Well, this is definitely an interesting chess variant. I'm enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Isn't this one of your favorites? I don't know. We play a different one every week. By the way, if you're watching this for the first time, you should know we play a different chess variant every week. And this is like way better than average because most of them are unplayable but uh, i don't know we're actually playing a chess variant here this is pretty fascinating i wonder if i can make any legal moves in my future like my knight can't go here 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 or, or there or here basically can't move should we castle yeah i could castle i could play knight d1 yeah, there is that. My knight is actually trapped. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It would be funny if it weren't so sad. I'll just go here. <laughs> I, I think that's funny. Oh, I can't do that. Huh. Oh, I'll just cheat. I don't know. Um, I'm trapped, so how about cheating? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. So I will just... Uh... 
The interesting thing is when the square is occupied, you can then move there. Hmm. C3 quick. He started to really pwn me. Look at that. When my queen comes out. I'm going to use my queen to win here. Oh, he has a queen also. <laughs> Should have planned ahead. I was hoping he wouldn't have a queen. But I just didn't plan ahead. I can, I can really move to some squares, though. Look at all the squares he can't move to. He can move to that one, though, unfortunately for me. <laughs> oh, there is that one, isn't there? Oh, that's too bad. Bring the knight in. I am attacking some serious squares, though. He can't attack this queen except with knights. In fact, queens can never be attacked except by knights. So my queen is rocking it. This is so fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a knight also, so I'll use that to take his queen, I guess. It's going to take me two moves, but... Hmm. It's my chance. Move here. I do lose this pawn. But I'm so close to checkmating him afterward. Can I do it? Can I checkmate him? That would be such a thrill to checkmate my opponent. Oh, someday in another life, I'm going to... I'm going to... Checkmate my opponent. It's going to be so... You can't do that. That's an empty square. That's an empty square. So you can't go there. See? It's an empty square under attack. Hmm, it can't be taken, though. We didn't change the rules. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this We're just doing this for fun. I don't know why it's rated. I don't know. So this is definitely fun. That's what it is. I could take this, and then I could fork him. Seems uh, leaving something to be desired. We could not move anything. I think I've just kind of wrecked myself. Oh, that's not a great move, is it? <laughs> okay, when well, you have one second on the clock, just, just move a thing, you know. Uh, he's running away. Okay, let's take the knight then. He'll just come right back in. Oh, he's dancing around. Take the knight with the rook. Uh, you don't know what to do, Jesuits. Might as well make a chess move. Okay. Pretty good moves. Moves. I don't know what to think of this chess variant. Like, is it a good variant or not? E4, knight f6. I wonder if I should play d4 here. Because knight c3, knight c6, and then I can't play d4. I would love to play d4. So I come in here, and now I can already not play d4. I could, however, just play d3 and bishop e3. This is, I think, a good idea, bringing the, the pawn down, because you're, you're taking more space, and space is going to be important when my movement is so restricted, restricted, and then my knight just gets stuck. I don't think f3, knight e2, knight f4 is a great plan. I think my knight just kind of got stranded out there. Now, this is interesting. In order to trap it, he brought his knight here. Oh, in this position, when I got trapped, I could have taken this knight. He recaptures. And then I can save this knight. Of course, the other one's in danger, so maybe that's not super smart, but that's interesting. <gasps> I almost opened my inbox. Okay, if you're watching now, you can play me. Let's do it. Hopefully, you're not rated 2200, then maybe I'll win. Or maybe you'll win with the quality of my play. Let's find out. Hey, we got 20 live viewers right now, so congratulations to you, 20. Let's drink to that and play some Toxin Chess. We're playing against Black Chess, who's pretty cool. Guy, I love Black, I love Chess. It's a great combination. Units cannot move to empty squares, which are under attack. Now, we have to double check. Okay, because back, you know, 300 episodes ago, I made the mistake of just starting a game, assuming he's playing by the rules, and man, he was playing chess. It turns out it is a very unlikely situation where I sat down on a chess website, I started a game, and the guy was playing chess. It was brutal, because I was playing some crazy variant, like, you cannot move anything. So I was just like, oh, and he's like playing chess, and I'm, oh, and he's playing chess, oh, it's my turn. And pretty soon, 
uh, he, he won. Uh, great story, huh? Great story. All right, here we go. I think this is very strong. He cannot kick it away, except with straight moving pieces and horse moving pieces, which very hard to access this. So let's own him. In fact, let's play this next. First, we have to bring the knight out, but it's very easy to bring the knight out since he cannot bring his knight out. Oh, he's so wrecked. It's like move two and he can't do anything. Here we go. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I love playing people who are worse than I am. He's not significantly worse. His rating is in the thousands. But compared to Messi Answer, who is like a professional pro, this guy is a normal guy in comparison. So look at how I'm just <laughs> I mean, just, just glance at the chess board. You could be a non-chess player. You could just glance at this and be like, what is that? Is that Parcheesi? I think I've played that. You'd be like, wow, White sure is winning here. I don't know what this game is, but White sure is winning. That's what I would say if I looked at this and I didn't know anything. I'd be like, bah, bah, because I wouldn't know anything. So that's all I could say. We got a comment in the chat for Messy Answer. He says, Chess Wiz is so handsome. Oh, I agree with that. He didn't actually write it, but I'm agreeing with it right now. Raluk says, I think that interpretation makes sense. He's responding to the statement about the about the handsomeness, I think. Um, they're talking about the previous game in which I lost. I don't want to think about that game, so I'm not going to read anything more in the chat box. There's one thing you can do to avoid bad situations, and that is pretend they don't exist. It works great. So here, knight takes h7, checkmate, but what do we do? We rematch black chess, and we'll just pretend like this never happened. It actually technically speaking, can't be proven to have happened after the universe experiences heat death and everything is the same temperature and made of the same material. At that point, you will not be able to tell that Black Chess lost that game, nor will you exist. So I think we're pretty comfortable just moving past it for now. Good luck. Now, we know that would be brutal. So the solution <laughs> to do it right back out of it. He plays bishop b5. We're going to go bishop b4, and we're going to show him what bishops can do. Never happened. I love that. Let's flag this comment. Oh, let's report this comment. It's it's explit. Explit? <laughs> so there's a rule you can't type explit comments on this website. And so, and this, see how he's removed the E? The E stands for explit. So you can't do that. You have to put that in. That's how it works. All right. So if queen of six, we learned two or three games ago, leads to a loss on move 23. So maybe there's something smarter to do here. Hmm. Like this. Because now I can play knight of six. Okay, this is good. It's very, very good. Unfortunately, but fortunately, unfortunately, but fortunately, this bishop wrecks the queen side. So unfortunately, my knight cannot move. My pawn cannot move. My pawn cannot move one square. Okay, so it's pretty wrecked. But... I'm wrecking him equally. This is called mutual wreckage. It's a technical chess term which involves wrecking things. And this is pretty wrecked, I would say. It's pretty good. My knight actually made it here before it was guarded by the bishop. Pretty unlikely. I love popping this water bottle, by the way. I made another live stream. I was playing another game. It wasn't chess. I was playing a non-chess game. If you can believe that ever happened, it did. It was in another universe, but I was doing it. And in the video, I was going and drinking water. And then I went to put that video online. But before I did that, I watched it because I have a high standard, you know, you know, actually, this is my house and then my standard is up above it. I mean, it's very high standard, okay? And in my high standard, I don't put out par or subpar videos. I put out pro par, which means... I have no idea what that means. That's the kind of video I put up. So I watched it first, and I'm like, look at all that water bottle popping. That's a really bad video. So I went in there. This took hours of my life, because I don't have anything to do with my time except do this. And I go in there, and I delete all the moments where I pop my water bottle like that, okay? So every single one. I went in the sound thing, and I took the sound out of the video mm -hmm. so that when it pops, it didn't make any sound. And I still left the popping in there, because it's pretty cool motion. I mean, let me just show you, in case you don't know. That's pretty cool, right? Now, luckily for both of us, I don't care about Chesswiz TV, so I'll leave the pops in for you YouTube viewers who love pops. But for this channel, it's another chess, it's another YouTube channel. I run three or four YouTube channels, and I'm like taking those pops out. So I've worked on this for hours. So now the entire video, hour-long video, it's actually 50 minutes now because I also deleted some popping. And so for the entire video, there's this silent popping <laughs> where it's like, 
and there's no sound. Okay, I'm glad I told you that. Now I can move this pawn. How will I ever... You can't do that, black chess. Just in case he doesn't give me the take back, I have to... I have to request these take backs. Hey, hey. We can't f4. Now he's going to go back. We're going to go back again. Oops, too far. Too far. Okay, let's give him a little time. GLHF. That stands for good luck, have fancy. I've never figured out why people would say that. Now we have to play chess again. We've added a little time to our clocks. I really want to move this knight somewhere, please. <laughs> uh, it's going to have to be impossible, I think. I've, I have an idea now. Oh, my idea has been stopped. I want to not be stopped. Oh, the knight's going to go this way. And then it's going to be stuck because it can't move any of these squares. So this is really a stupid chess variant when you're not playing against one of those pros like Messi Answer. Because seriously, nothing can be moved. <laughs> nothing can be moved. Now here's my plan. I have a plan because you know I always have a plan. I find myself in a variety of situations. Like one time I woke up and I was in my bed. So just that's just an example of one of the many different situations I face in my life. And in, and in this situation, just like in all others, I have a plan. So let me tell you about this plan. My plan is to continue talking until... He runs out of time. Now, unfortunately, there's a plus four here, so he never runs out. So uh, let's go. What is this? Is a great comment. Now I'm threatening the knight. Okay, so that was actually my plan. Now I'm going to take the knight. My plan is to take the knight. And this is going to force him backwards. Look how backwards he's being forced. And then queen here. Look at this. The ticking sound, that's all the things he can't do. He can't do any of those things. Now... We slowly but surely checkmate him. I don't know how we do that, though, since we can't move anything. Uh, this variant leaves something to be desired in the area of... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in the area of being interesting. Um... 50 move rule. <laughs> stalemate is where you can't... Uh, can you see the chat? Yeah. So stalemate is where you can't move your king and you don't have any legal moves, so it's a draw. But the 50 move rule is where you move 50 times without capturing anything, and it's a draw. But there's another thing. You also don't move any pawns. Now, unfortunately, after 49 moves, I can just move right here and go another 49 moves and then move right here and then click my tongue some more. I love that clicking sound. And then uh, 49 more. He should move his bishop here, but he didn't see it, so that's good. Ah, it's like, I'll be lucky if I can move anywhere legally. I'm coming up with a plan here. It's taking me a long time. And the reason for that is there are no good plans. Oh, something's happening. Oh, oh, something is happening. The chess game is moving somewhere. I was going to say moving forward, but it's kind of maybe moving backwards. It's definitely moving. This is a thrill. Oh, I need to undo that. Move back here. Because I, I, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got my other knight going. It's going nowhere, but it's going. <laughs> it's going nowhere. <laughs> now, move the rook. I'm going to put the knight here. We're going to trade bishops. Watch this. We are now trading bishops. What a thrill! This chess variant is transforming into a chess variant that's identical to it with bishops gone. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, I have to sound like an insane man just to make this half interesting. Just how bad it is. Come back up here. We're going to play knight h5. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. I, I am amused. I am definitely amused. So I could take this pawn. That is the kind of insanity 
that my brain is undergoing right now due to the fact that the chess variant is exceedingly stupid. <laughs> so we need to win, and we need to win in the next 50 moves, and it's not happening. So none of the pawns can move. The bishop, the knight, d1 was hanging. No, it wasn't, you guys. He's like, you should read the chat, d1's hanging, but it's not hanging. I'm thinking about this, because I'm insane. I'm thinking about this. What else should I think about? Oh, maybe he'll play his rook here. Yes, that's when it was hanging. Do it again. Do it again. This time I'm watching. He says, yes, it was. Oh, that's not good. He probably is now aware of it, unfortunately. Okay. Mm. We need to formulate a plan. How are we going to... With 49 moves, I can gain a lot of time. Oh, yeah, chess wins with a brilliant knight, d5. Right when he was moving so quickly, he did not take it for free. No, look, I check him, and then he's just totally in check. He's like, no, I'm in check. This is terrible. And then he wins. But look at this. Now that the bishop is gone, we're playing chess, baby. Um, actually, this is the same, isn't it? No, this is way more thrilling. It doesn't take much to become way more thrilling than that other position. But watch, I can bring this around, and I can do some more checks. And I love doing checks. I don't check checks. I, I do them. Watch me do these checks. Oh, man. This is so exciting because nothing's happening, and it's happening not quickly. That's so fun. Okay. Next. Next move. We get ready for a buggery boo. Buggery boo. Okay. He cheats. <laughs> we got so insane. He's like, cheat. That's the move. Just cheat. Just recover with cheat. I wish he could cheat there. That is this what I did? That's bad. I wish he could just cheat. Okay. We're in. We are in the game. Oh, yeah. Checkmate. <laughs> that was interesting. GG. Uh, definitely we have learned something from this. And what we have learned is going to be very useful in the future of our lives. Both my life and yours, assuming you're still alive after that chess game. Here's what we've learned. Never play Toxin Chess ever again. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching. Fine, fine, you guys. Fine. People in the chat are typing things. They're like, things. Fine. They said we should try it where pawns don't have that restriction, so I will do that. Play with a friend, because you guys are my friends. <laughs> I know it sounds lame, but you are. Okay, whoever wants to try talks in chess, which pawns, pieces. Only pieces have the restriction. Okay? So click the link now or i will be annoyed with you because you're all like let's try it this way yeah let's do it and then chesswiz puts the link and you're like not me <laughs> why don't you play it <laughs> i don't want to play it <laughs> that's your that's yours okay it's gonna be messy answer perfect pieces not pawns can i move to empty squares which are under attack okay so the pawns can advance that's going to fix the problem it's going to make this chess variant almost playable let's try it we're back to messy answer 2253 so it Fix that chess view. It's going to be a little different. Like, for example, bishop here? No problem. He can just f3 my face. So this is going to be more like chess, which is uh, not great when you're playing against a 2253. But he's not going to be 2253 for long. Soon he'll be 2253 and a half because he's going to beat me. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. So far it's chess. It's not good. Oh, here comes the knight for a fork. Oh, no. Do I play knight a6 or bishop d6? My style is more like uh, a king e7, d7, whatever that is. That's more like my style, but let's try this. Oh, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, that's my style, the illegal move. So it's going to be this one, because it's legal. 
that's the way I roll. Sometimes I follow the rules. That's the way I roll. It's not often, but you know, every now and then I decide, yep. Yeah, I guess uh, for this move and this move only, I'm not going to cheat. Okay, now that I've decided that, really narrows down my options, actually. So I'm going to play c6, knight b4, and then I'll do that to him. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Oh, he's coming back that direction, so I can wreck his pawns. I can even check his pawns. Oh, man, he's dead. He's dead meat. I'm going to win this. Ho, 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 what a great, what is it called? Uh, encore. That's what it is. What a great encore this is for chess moves to come back and beat messy answer. Queen H, queen five check. He has to block with a pawn or move his king. Then I take the knight, and I'm dominating. Hmm. Or take the knight first. Fall by a certain destruction. Let's do that. I'm not even sure which one's better because they're both so good. But now he's wrecked. He has to move his king up. <laughs> and then we win with... Hmm. How do we win? I guess I'll just take his pawn. That's very anticlimactic. Just now, I can just keep on moving in this area of the board. He cannot really bring his bishop out, and that, I mean, like, really not. And that means he can't castle for several reasons, right? So, meanwhile, I, I should castle and, like, play chess, but I'm really interested in just coming out here and see what I could do to him, because that's way more fun than chess. Let's see how it goes. He's coming back for some last moment defense here. This allows check, which he can't block due to the rules of the game. I don't think that's a powerful check, but... This is a pretty powerful check. And should it be with the bishop or the knight? Let's do it with the knight. Because I think he has to trade his queen for that after this check. What? Did I cheat? Illegal. There's a pawn on that. That's a pawn on that. <laughs> Look at this. He, that square's not guarded. Sure, I'll give him a take back. Because otherwise I think it really is checkmate. No, it's about your knight. Which move? I Am I stupid here? No, never mind. Yeah, so I'm going to give him one more take back because I'm winning by so much. Okay, so he just walks into the checkmate. <laughs> okay, that's great too. In fact, I love checkmating people who are rated 22, 53, soon to be rated 1053 because this is a pretty mm -hmm. significant check right here. Bringing his king out to Nowheresville. Oh no, my queen is under attack. Guess I'd better checkmate him. Oh, this is kind of embarrassing, actually. He's escaping. <laughs> okay, let's play some chess. Um, this is not legal. I can't check him here. He's preparing to escape. Let's take that while we still can. We can still play this. Pawns don't have to follow the rules, so I can come in a little more here. Oh, yeah, he should have played his king, I think, to run, but now he can't run. So he's trying a move. That's legal, I think, because it's a pawn. Why am I still playing chess? How did he escape? How? I thought he was totally dead. This is terrible. Oh, now he's doing it to me. Help! That helps. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Self. Self is my greatest ally. We've even picked up some time on the clock. I'm going to win that bishop if he moves it in. Oh, your bishop can't go anywhere. Look at that chess move. You can't go there. I guard that. So his bishop is trapped. <laughs> oh, this chess variant is much better due to the fact that I'm winning. See, his bishop cannot go here, cannot go here, cannot go here, cannot go here, cannot. I actually don't want to draw that arrow because it looks way cooler like this. Oh, you can't go there. Same illegalness. Egalanus. That sounds like something explicit. Egalitarianness. Same eagle. You can't do that. <laughs> he's he's amused. He's like, wow, I'm losing so badly. This is funny. I agree. Um, I'm guarding that square. 
Usually I'm the one who's saying I'm losing so badly this is funny, but in this specific circumstance, he is the one with that response. So I'm attacking this pawn. He could guard it. He's not guarding it. Seems like I should take it then, right? But I won't. Oh, I'll instead I'll cheat. <laughs> so this is this is uh, this is a very difficult chess variant. Oh, I can't play there either. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I've my moves are are forced into making. I'm forced to make a good move. That's what I'm trying to say, because my bad moves are illegal. How often does that happen? He can't advance the pawn any further? Oh, he can. Well, now I can just take the pawn. <laughs> what is happening? Why and how are happening? Um, that seems like a bad move. I can't play there. You can't, can't. Oops, oops. That was a cheat. Can't do that. Oh, what a wonderful variant. You cannot blunder your queen. Oops, that's cheating too. What a great variant. Usually I move my queen to guarded squares, but in this chess variant, you can't do that. Wow, this is great. Um, this is my move. I finally found a move that's not illegal. Great. And now here, I'm winning. Let's uh, just bring more of my rooks in the game here. Over here. <laughs> I'm hit by like 400 rooks, so that's why I'm comfortable with these moves. If I play this, oh man, he's really going to do something with this? I don't think so. You can't do that. Sorry, man. That's a no cheat. Queen f6 guarded by king. That's a no cheat. Queen f6 guard. There's no U in guarded. There is a U. There's no U in guarded. I'm the only one in guarded. Yes, but there was a knight. There was? Oh, he took my knight. <laughs> oh, 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 apparently that was a knight. Um, take. How could I lose this game? This is embarrassing. I think this is checkmate, though. So that ought to deal with my problems here. Uh, when things are bad, checkmate the opponent. That's what I say. Check. Mm -hmm. Does this lead to checkmate? It's got to lead to checkmate. It's just got to. How could this not be checkmate? <laughs> Even I'm laughing. It's so checkmate. Okay, so he plays his king here. And then I could take this pawn. And you can't block. But now, <laughs> and now, check. Right, he can't block because he's it's illegal. Now, move the bishop. Check. <laughs> and now, checkmate. Checkmate. What? Reverse discover? Anti check? Double check? Resigns? <laughs> Look, he can. Oh, it's illegal. He can't do this. I'm like, he can block the check and discover check at the same time, leaving me with nothing to do but beat him. That's amazing. But uh, actually, he can't do any of that because. Wow. Interesting game. Thanks for watching.